Hi, welcome to Haskins. My name's Alistair and uh, I'm the plant advisor. Today we're going to be looking at how to make uh, an edible window box. We're going to be using some tumbling tomatoes and some lettuces. Now, the thing about your edible window box is it's dependent on where you're going to locate it. If you have a sunny balcony or a sunny window, then tomatoes are going to be perfect. But if you've got somewhere which has got a bit more shade, a bit more partial shade, then you would swap the tomatoes out for something like strawberries as they prefer a slightly shadier position being that they're from the forest. Uh, the lettuces are fine either way, they can work in either shade or sun. Today we're using um, Levington's with John Innes number no. 3 added because it has grit added and that allows it to drain a bit better. Lettuces and tomatoes like it slightly moist because it allows them to grow quickly but I wouldn't recommend putting in basil with this, even though it's nice to have a combination of tomatoes and basil, because basil doesn't like it too moist. Putting in some soil, we're just uh, breaking it up with our hands. This is like the nice easy job, making sure it's evenly distributed. Now, I've got a selection of plants here today I'd like to talk about. This is landcress. It's a native of our English watercress. It tastes very similar. Again, it loves it moist. I've got Mizuni, which is a Japanese mountain salad, which is beautiful. These are evergreen and perennial, so they will come back year after year. Uh, they won't get much taller than this, and basically you can take the leaves as you want them to create your own salad. I've also got some uh, lovely red veined sorrel. Uh, the red veined sorrel has an acidic, kind of lemony, citrusy taste that is perfect for giving your salads an extra kind of oomph, a bit of piquantness. For a bit of colour, we've got a red uh, Batavia. It's a nice kind of salad leaf, but generally these have got a bit more kind of a peppery taste to them. So, for this one, I'm going to put some uh, red veined sorrel in. So we just basically tap the end of the pot, make sure it comes out nicely. And this is going to get quite big. Uh, it will probably get twice the size that it is now. And it would also be a perennial. So if you give it so a little bit of protection over the winter, it will come back. And it means um, you can also divide it at the end of the summer into bigger, into clumps. We're also going to go for a tumbling tomato because everyone loves a tumbling tomato. This is Tom Red, um, and this will basically go over the side, over the front of the pot. And give you some tomato action. And then to complement that, I think we'll go with um, some of the red Batavia, just as so you'll have a bit of a red theme going on. So we can make this decorative as well as edible. So the red in the red patavia will pick up the red in the red sorrel, and then obviously the red tomatoes as well. Now this really is as simple as, as I'm making it look. Um, the hardest bit is just kind of choosing your plants. So just uh, cleaning it up, it's looking quite good. This is, within a couple of days, you'll be able to take leaves off this and uh, start making your nice healthy salad. And that's how you make your first edible window box planter.